Hi everyone, Adam here. So, I have not made a video in a few days. I was planning on uh, trying to get something done Saturday night, and it just didn't end up happening. I had a lot of stuff going on. And then I said to myself, okay, so I'll do it Sunday morning instead, get it out at the same time. But uh, Sunday morning I woke up to hear about the Orlando shooting, and I was just kind of in a haze all day. I didn't, I wasn't able to get to it. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's like, it, yeah, there's these events in your life where y you want to be positive, you want to, you know, kind of project a, you know, a positive image, and you want to still be the kind of the same upbeat excited person that you are but you know there's stuff that just gets to you like there's there's just things that it's it's absolutely nonsensical that we have these problems and that you know as a country we allow these things to keep happening over and over again and um yeah you know it, it stinks it really <sighs> so yeah Anyway, um, moving on from there, just kind of going into everything else that I've been doing the last few days. I've um, been doing really good on the workouts. Everything's been going great. I uh, On Saturday, I went to hang out with a buddy of mine, uh, Travis Pollen. He's a really great, uh, really great coach, really great trainer. Really smart guy. We uh, he he's not from the area. He's just visiting some family, so I uh, got to do a bro session with him. You know, do some do some solid workout stuff, and then uh, afterwards we just you know ate burgers and chatted fitness industry stuff. I recommend checking him out. His name is I think is I'll, I'll give a link to his website, but he calls himself the Fitness Pollinator. Um, he is basically he was born with a uh, they had to amputate one of his legs due to, you know, something he was born with. And as a result, you know, he's got a prosthesis and he's taken up fitness. Really, really, I mean, again, just his his story. I listened to him on a podcast a while back. That was how I first found out about him a long time ago. And um, just hearing him talk about it, I mean, he's, he's, like, he's in an amazing place where he is today. And... The amount of, it's, it's so interesting seeing, you know, the amount of stuff that he can do. He can do amazing gymnastic stuff that I absolutely cannot. Um, he's, you know, just so strong and such an athletic guy. And, you know, he's a great, great inspiration. So it was really awesome to get to hang out with him this weekend. Um, that was on Saturday, so that was, you know, before everything kind of got fucked up. But... You know, <laughs> you do what you can. Anyway, um, so what I wanted to talk about today is motivation, and I think this is a good topic, partly because I haven't felt very motivated this weekend. You know, I had I had something that kind of you know threw me, you know, threw me. And uh, so, how do you get back? You know, how do you stay motivated? Uh, a common one is. You know, how do you stay motivated during the holiday season? How do you stay motivated when you're on vacation, etc.? So, in my last video, I talked a lot about habit. And I think that habit is way, way more important than any kind of motivation that you can, you know, develop. Because motivation is really a limited resource. If you are doing something and you don't want to be doing it, and you have to tell yourself, I am going to do this anyway, you don't, like, you know, you're... Yes, you can force yourself to do it, but you don't like it, you know, and when you don't like something, it's not, you know, it's not going to happen. And, you know, if you treat fitness as this thing where you have to slog through a bunch of hardship, you know, to get to the good stuff, like you're not going to make it, you know, you've got to find ways to enjoy or at the very least not hate every moment that you're in the gym. And again, that's about building a habit because once you've got the habit down, once you've, you know, once it's easy to, to, you know, to go in, then you'll find that it's not as, it, you know, it might be boring or it might not be, you know, the, 
your favorite part of your day, but it's certainly not the slog that it is at the very beginning when you're just starting out and everything sucks and you don't know what you're doing. Um, so a few motivation, you know, adjacent topics. One, memes and fitspiration and looking at, you know, pictures of jack dudes and, you know, skinny women and, you know, people lifting heavy weight or whatever. That's not going to motivate you, you know. Seeing what other people have or seeing these goofy fitness jokes or whatever, that's not what motivates people. That's just that's just stuff, you know. And yeah, once you sort of subsume yourself into a culture, you're more likely to buy into it. So if, you know, if you're a fitness person and you like fitness stuff and you, you know, follow all kinds of fitness people, um, then yeah, you're more likely to adhere to something simply because that's your lifestyle. That's the lifestyle that you've bought into. But on their own, you know, looking at like some Fitspiration pictures isn't going to make you any more motivated. It might, again, it might... It might help you get a little bit of boost to force yourself to do something you don't want to do, but that's not what you should be aiming to do in the long run. You should be aiming to not have to think about it, to not have to expend effort. Um, because if you still have to expend effort, then you know it still sucks, and there's still a possibility that everything's going to go haywire. Uh, another question is like, you know, oh, I, I got to go on vacation. I'm going to go on a business trip. How do I manage to stay fit for this week that I'm on a business trip or something like that? I'll tell you that I, I had another, I listened to another coach, Jesse Nealon. She's a, an amazing coach as well. Um, very body positive. And she was on a podcast that I listened to recently. And in it, she said, you know what? I've been writing travel, vacation workouts for people for years. And none of them have done any of them. You know, the, the fact of the matter is that the very reason that it's hard to do a workout while you're on vacation is that you're on vacation. You're breaking your normal set of habits. The normal set of habits is what makes it easy to exercise. So if you're on vacation, you're in that that place again where you have to expend willpower. You know, you probably want to spend your time, if you're in another city that you've never seen before, you probably want to spend your time doing something else. You probably want to go see the city. You probably want to see friends that, you know, you can't see every day. You don't want to be spending time going through the normal you know, the normal routine of going to the gym or doing some kind of workout or whatever, um, because you're on vacation, you know, <laughs> you're on a business trip, whatever you're, you're outside of that normal space where you exercise. And so you want to do something else and that's perfectly fine. You know, I am very bad about doing vacation workouts. I will, sh you know, sure. I'll do some body weight stuff here and there, but for the most part, I no, I, I don't do much. Um, so yeah, you know, like don't get bummed out about, you know, not working out on vacation because very few people actually really do it. And I mean, you know, there's, you, you're probably not going to have full access to equipment, so you can't really get in a full workout anyway. You can still get in a great body weight workout, but most people are not doing body weight workouts in their home anyway to start off with. They're not in that habit. So doing it in your hotel room, if you're not used to it is, is difficult. Um... So, you know, don't beat yourself up about that. You're the sum total of your habits, not, you know, the, the exception to the rule when you're on vacation. If you travel a lot and it's normal for you to be bouncing all over the world, then yeah, you need to figure out some kind of travel workouts or something that you can do in your hotel room. But when it comes to, you know, if you're going to be gone for a few days or something like that, just don't worry about it, you know? Like, go for a run maybe or do some push-ups, but... Do not worry about it. And then another big topic is holidays. You know, people are like, oh, I fell off the boat on the holidays. I ate so much food. I gained five pounds. You know, what do I do? Well, okay, so you're not a, a fundamentally different person than you were the week before you ate all that food. You know, yeah, maybe you're a little bit heavier, but you're not necessarily that much more or less out of shape. Um you know, as you were before, because again, it's an exception to the rule. It's not what your habits are every day. So if you were in great shape leading up to that, chances are that you're going to eat a bunch of food and yeah, you might gain a little bit of weight, but you know, you're active and you'll burn it off anyway. And you're not going to see as much of a, you know, much of a bump. Um, 
if you weren't active to begin with, yeah, you're probably going to see a bigger jump in your weight if you eat a bunch of food. And yeah, you're probably going to have a harder time, you know, burning it off. And, and yeah, that's because you weren't active, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's not the, the, that's not the holiday screwing you up. That's everything that led up to that holiday. And then the holiday is just the cherry on the, you know, it's, it's the cherry on top. It's, it's the little thing, the catalyst that, that makes it evident that you haven't been working out or exercising, uh, up until then. So, um, so a lot of people get the sense that they've fallen off the boat or, you know, whatever, when they, when they eat a ton at holiday meals, you weren't, if, if, if you felt, if you think you fell fallen off, you probably weren't on it to begin with, honestly. Um, but at the same time, like, listen, do not get discouraged. Like if you're already doing something, then the main thing is just to keep that up. Again, you've got to build that habit. You've got to keep it going. You can't just you know, like, oh, I'm done now, <laughs> you know, uh, everyone has missteps, everyone has, you know, mistakes, everyone has delays, everyone has, you know, like, even, even me, you know, like, I've got, I, I designed a two-month program that's probably going to take me three months to finish, um, you know, is that ideal? No, but, yeah, I'm, I'm getting it done, you know, and it's working, <laughs> like, you, you can't expect everything to happen in this imaginary ideal world, where everything goes right all the time, you know? Mistakes happen, and results are never uniform. It's not like if I graphed, you know, my progress at something over time, it's going to be this nice, beautiful, perfect 45-degree line. No, there's going to be, you know, hills and valleys and, you know, what whatnot here and there. So, uh, so yeah, number one, number one thing I'll say is don't get too beat up about a holiday, you know, throwing you, because... You know, either either you were already in a bad place to begin with, or you were already in a good place to begin with, or you were already, you know, somewhere in between to begin with, and that that isn't throwing you off that much. It may seem like it, because it's, you know, a more evident kind of... It's more evident than, you know, if you, if you gain a little bit of weight, that's more evident than, you know, what happens the rest of the year. But, um, yeah, you know, just keep at it. Do what you can and uh, power through, honestly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of my talk on motivation for today. It's a really complex topic. Obviously, I wouldn't pretend that this is everything that there is to say about motivation. But it's kind of a start, you know. It gives you kind of an idea of where to look instead of just flailing around like so many people do chasing after motivation because you know that's about it <laughs> anyway well i hope that this week is a better week than last week or at least that it ends better than last week did as always like comment share subscribe tell me what you want to see in future videos i'll see you guys all later Good night.